If you've ever wanted to have control over your audio like you would with a physical mixer, but you didn't want to add a physical mixer to your setup, maybe to keep it more minimal, I've got a solution that uses the Stream Deck and Voice Meter to keep things super, super simple and give you complete control. Let's jump over to the streaming PC and take a look. So on the streaming PC, we can see I've got my Stream Deck open here and we've got Voice Meter as well. And now my button in the bottom right, this is going to be a switch profile function and it's going to be switching over to my OBS mixer view. So you can see here, we've got a few different profiles. And if I go to this one here, this is my first page for my mixer. And if we take a look, I've got audio controls for playing and pausing the music as well as skipping songs. And then I also have some control for what my viewers can hear. So I can mute or increase, decrease the volume for the music. And then same thing for my microphone. If I click on this next button here, this is going to switch to stuff that I can change for my ears, which is going to be my game, my discord, music, as well as my entire PC. So I can mute. If I push a button, I can mute or unmute and I can also increase or decrease the volume. So to get this set up, what you're going to want to do is go into more actions on the stream deck. And then in here, you can go into the search and just type in voice meter. You're going to type in voice and you'll see there's this voice meter integration. So we'll install that voice meter integration by bar raider. Now, once that's installed, what you can do is you can scroll down in the side here and you should find some bar raider controls on the side. So we've got one right here called voice meter. If I open that up, we've seen we've got a handful of different settings. Now, the ones that I'm using for turning the volume up and down are voice meter, advanced click, long click. So you can see it here. All you got to do is drag and drop one of these in. Now, as far as settings, if we take a look at the increased volume one, you can see I've got the key press. These are the commands. I'll put these in the description so you can better understand them. But essentially what we're doing is we're picking what strip we're modifying. So for example, for this one, we are looking at the game audio. So it's strip two. So as far as strips, you have zero, one, two, three, etc. So it's kind of it starts on zero and it's working its way across. So for Discord, which is all the way over here, we should see quite a high number. Uh, you should see it's actually strip number six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. OK, uh, so if we look at the uh, increase and decrease volume, firstly, you can see we're selecting the strip and then we're changing the gain, which is the volume. So for this one, what I'm doing is I'm modifying it by one. For decrease, we should see pretty much the exact same kind of command here, except slightly modified. Uh, the strip gain is instead of going up with the plus, we're going down with the minus. I'll put both of these in the description so you can just copy and paste them. But what I have it doing is increase or decrease gain by one. If you want to increase or decrease the gain by larger chunks, you could set this number to two or three or five. Um, but I like having really, really fine control. So I set it to one. And then for uh, the muting, this one's going to be what function is this one here? Voice meter, mute or unmute. So you can see that one is right here. You can again, just drag and drop that in. And now for this one, we have a little bit more control. So the toggle uh, or the mic type here, we're going to set to toggle mode. And it's going to be strip number two. So again, if we look over here, strip zero, one, two. So this is my splitter, which is my game audio. And if I toggle this one, we can see that it actually mutes and you can see that the image actually um, matches this as well. So for this one, we have the icon set to user defined so that we can have the image of the controller without the slash through it and also the controller with the slash through it. So you're going to want to set those in this user defined image section, one for um, the slashed image and one for without the slashed image. So you can see I have this for each of them. And as I'm kind of toggling, you can see them get modified over here. So game, discord, music, and my actual PC. If you see this one here, it's actually this channel. So if I toggle that one on and off, you can see it get modified there. And that's really all there is to it. So there's two different functions that are being used here. There is the uh, advanced click or long click. And there's also the voice meter mute and unmute. And I have these set on a couple different profiles here with a profile switcher. And then I also have the home button, which takes me back to the home screen of my stream deck. And that's really all there is to it.
If you found the video helpful, let me know in the comments down below. Leave it a like and also feel free to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.